Hello everyone, today I'm going to try a green look and I'm going to do a bit of foiling which is using your eyeshadow with um, a, fur, a moistening agent. I'm going to use glycerin and rose water. It's the glycerin that um, gives the eyeshadow the ability to stick to your eye. So I've just taken a sort of a medium eyeshadow brush, I've wet a little bit of cotton wool and um, I'm just going to dampen the brush slightly. You don't want your brush too damp, but you want it to be able to pick up the colour that you're going to use. Now the first colour we're going to use is in this palette. I shouldn't need to. And it feels really weird when it's going on actually. It feels like you're sticking wet sherbet on your eyelid. And that is as weird as it sounds. And just sort of dab it on, almost stipple it on. Okay. And if your brush begins to dry out, you'll see because it just won't feel the same. That's sort of sticky consistency. Just wet the brush a bit more, dab it onto your eye. Like a greeny pigment has turned a beautiful gold with flecks of green in it. Lovely. Really lovely. Right. Dabbing, continuing to wet the brush and constructive. Um, I really do find it useful. Please continue to rate the videos and give me your feedback, anything you'd like to see or anything that you found wasn't explained well enough for you. Then I'm really, really happy to, to answer your queries on these videos. And I'm taking the same brush and I'm literally just going into the crease and running it under like this. This just means that it's nice and even. I like it lovely actually. It was running really smooth. So different to eyeshadow when it's dry. And it really just brings out the water. Okay, so I'm going to lift that one a little bit more slightly so than the crease. This is kind of an easy way to do it. Just follow the crease in and out gently. I don't know where it's going. Okay, you can use the same brush. You can use the same brush. I'm just gonna, I've just got the cotton wool pad here and I'm just dampening it off. Also to get rid of the, the old colour. Um, uh, just a tiny bit. And I foiled this as well. Just a tiny bit because it will blend. Just bring it about a quarter of the way in and in and over the crease down like that with the other eye it really feels lovely absolutely lovely I remember the name now mixing medium the mixing medium and it's fantastic that stuff it is only a few pounds there we go. I've literally got those two colours now, just making sure they're the same. Alright. Lovely. Okay, now I'm going to just give it all a bit of a blend. Just lifting the eye out. Just bringing them all together. And they're a little bit sticky. So they need a blend, just to sort of make sure they sit properly on the eye and that they're evenly distributed because you don't want it to be all patchy at all. Okay, just gently blending because you don't want to move it around too much. Okay. I'm going to pop on a quick highlight just using my MAC Shroom, my favourite. Pop it that down and just sort of blend it in under the eyebrow and blend it into that green and same on the other side if you have a lot of time to put loads of makeup on in the morning what I can advise you to do is just put a bit of a highlight under the brow bone and down the nose it just makes you look a little more awake and if you have got time 
Just go there. And that's a real nice fast look. I find anyway. Okay, now I'm going to take a brown pencil and line on the bottom, on the waterline and the lower line, and up along the top for lashes. And there was a, you can use black if you want to, but the brown just seems to harmonise a bit better. And stand out a bit more. It works really well. And you know I always say, don't worry if it's a little bit messy. Because we'll smudge it out. And if you don't have one of the smudgy brushes, because they're not... Oh, they're not all cool cheap. And then a cotton bud would do just fine. Or even a foam kit. Just going to plug it out and along. Just to even it all out. And out. And last line and in. Just bring it out where the colour finishes. Keep it underneath, I don't want. And um, okay, just got a bit of mascara to put on. She's in black. Tiny pack black. And if you wanted to, if you had time, then you could pop a bit of the green on the lower lash. That would look really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, oh, that's a little bit more than the other one. Yes, I haven't done this one hard enough. There we go. Just a spot of mascara. On top. I'm going to come in a bit close so you can see how lovely that reflective green is. I really love it. Really lovely colour. So I'm going to finish off this look with a bit of a, a lip tint. Um, this one is called Smitten Kitten and you can get it in drugstores. And it's basically a two phase thing. You start with brush on a bit of the lip tint, depending on how dark you want it. Pull it on. And it just gives you a tiny bit of colour, a wee wee bit of colour. And then you apply a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss, once that's dried. You can also use this lip tint as a cheek tint as well. So it's quite good if you're going away and you want to pack minimally. And pop a bit of gloss in it. I like this colour because it's kind of natural. And it lasts and lasts. It lasts eating and chatting and it never sort of dunks up in the corners or anything so I really like this look. I'm just going to do my final and I'll have a check make sure everyone's happy and there's our look. I hope you really like it and I'll see you soon. Please rate and please give me some feedback. Okay, bye for now.